Let's use Kepler's law with Newton's correction in order to find the mass of Jupiter. So this is Kepler's law. P squared is equal to A cubed over M, where A is in astronomical units, P is in years, and the mass is written in solar masses. So Io is one of the uh, Galilean moons. And you can just go and you can look up and you can find that the semi-major axis is 421,800 kilometers and the period is 1.77 days. So I just need to convert both of these into astronomical units and into years and then I can use uh, Kepler's law. So I can, I've, I've worked out before or I can look up that astronomical unit in kilometers is 1.5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. Remember, I'm just multiplying by 1 here, so I'm not actually changing the value, I'm just changing its units. Cancel off those kilometers, and I get 2.8 times 10 to the minus 3 astronomical units. Good. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing for the period. 1.77 days, well, I'm going to multiply that by one year over 365 days. Again, these are equal to each other, so I'm just multiplying by one. I cancel off the days, and I'm left with 4.8 times 10 to the minus three years. So I can now just plug both of these into the formula I have, but I, where I invert it now. So I'm going to rearrange this formula and write that m is equal to a cubed over p squared, just swapping the m up here and moving the p squared down there. So just plugging this in, 2.8 times 10 to the minus 3 cubed divided by 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. And what do I get? 9.5 times 10 to the minus 4 solar mass. So about 10 to the minus 3 solar masses. It's about 1 1,000th of the mass of the sun.